Greensboro sports writer said of Flossie Johnson, she was the sweetest woman you'd ever want to meet, yet she was as tough as the land she came from. Longtime NASCAR crew chief, crew chief Jeff Hammond said, I thought of her as sweet, but also rough as a corn cob if you crossed her. Such is the legacy of Flossie Johnson, the first lady of NASCAR. She wanted to be a nurse, but ended up directing calls for the telephone company. That was around the time that she met Junior Johnson, who would sit behind her at the movie theater and mess with her hair. Flossie was a good representative. That was one of the bright lights of Wilkes County. She was very proud of being born and raised in Wilkes on a family farm. She was proud of her roots. Wherever she went, all over the United States, she would always talk about, you know, her home and how proud she was of it people that met her and, and saw her that, you know, if that's the kind of people they got there, that's a good place to live. That's a good place to visit uh, or, or to come and, and, and do business with. Anybody who met her, she had an impact on. She was just that kind of person. She was kind and good and she left an impression on everyone she met. And, and I truly believe that of all the headline race car drivers, Flossie's the one that sealed those deals. Flossie's the one that got Darrell Waltrip here. Flossie's the one that got Bill Elliott here. Uh, Flossie got Cale Yarborough here. Uh, those championship caliber drivers because I know when they negotiated and talked, they didn't do it at a restaurant. They did it at Flossie's table. I think that made them feel like they were part of the family. I can remember going with her to the races and would ride with her over there and then when we got inside the track, she would open the trunk and every crew came over there to get something to eat. Um, and she was really proud of, of that and, and the people regarded her cooking and she put on the feed bag. I mean, she laid it out there. I mean, it was always good country cooking. And I think that was the glue that held that team together. Uh, Junior may have known a lot about cars, but Flossie knew a lot about human nature and she knew about people and she knew how to be warm and welcoming and, and inviting. To, to be a part of that organization. And I think during the hard times and difficult times they had, Flossie was what put that team on the map and, and made it work because she was like the heartbeat of it. Uh, everybody else sure played a part, but she made it more like a family business. And that's the thing that I remember even from when I was little and, and going with her to the racetrack is that it was like a family. The Petties came over, the Allisons came over, all of the, the guys that, that drove the cars and worked on the cars. When we went to the racetrack and she opened that trunk, everybody was family. And they were all standing around or sitting around eating. And uh, Flossie made sure she had that taken care of. Uh, and she shared her life and her heart and everything that she had with them. She, she had a heart of gold and she didn't mind giving it away. But at the same time, she never backed up. She kept doing it. Uh, she kept giving of herself to make sure that other people were comfortable or other people were pleased or, or had an opportunity. Um, and that's just the kind of life that she lived. Flossie Johnson's love of cooking, she said she learned it from her mother, led to a second career, writing cookbooks for charity. Flossie Johnson sold thousands of cookbooks raising money. She said her greatest joy in life was the people she met and the friends she made. A woman who truly loved Wilkes County has earned her a spot in the Wilkes County Hall of Fame. We welcome Flossie Johnson. On the behalf of Flossie's family that, that's here tonight and those that couldn't be here, we're, we're truly humbled and uh, grateful for this award. It's, it's a big honor. Uh, Flossie would be thrilled with this, and even though she was a humble person, she was also a very proud person. She was proud of her family, she was proud of the country that she lived in, uh, and she was proud of this county. And everywhere she went, she bragged about it, and she was a good uh, representative uh, for this county. Um, we, sometimes words are being on, let me, for any of you that didn't know Flossie, let me give you an example. She was the same every day, everywhere. Uh, back when I was in college, I was coming home for the weekend, and I had a friend with me, and he was going to spend the weekend with us here in Wilkes County, and, and he knew about Flossie, and um, 
I said, hey, look, her car's sitting over there at that store. I said, we'll stop in there and get us a drink, and I'll probably get to see Flossie because she got her hair fixed in the little beauty shop there beside it. And sure enough, when I stopped the car and got out, here she come out the door and saw me. And we talked for a few minutes and everything, and then she said we got ready to go, and she said, all right, y'all be sweet boys. Now, that wasn't exactly anything that went away real quick when I went back to college because that, that friend made sure everybody knew that I was a sweet boy. <laughs> but that's the kind of love that she gave all the time. And, and regardless of whether that I was 8 or 58, I was one of her boys. And I, I don't hope it don't hurt the family's feelings or anything, girls, but I was the favorite. But she loved me and she loved everybody. Flossie not having any children of her own, but she had a bunch of youngins. I mean, she was good to everybody and wanted to make sure that they were welcome and felt like they were loved. And she made sure that, that you were always welcome around her place. Um, thank you to the board members for uh, giving us this honor as, uh, that we will cherish in Flossie's name. And uh, I particularly want to thank Charles Williams, who started this, and Bill Harris, who, who kept after me to keep getting some stuff together. Thank you all. Thank you, board members, nominating committee, everybody that had a hand in it. Thank you very much.